What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We've got a mail call. Four knives came in. We're going to be diving into these, checking these out, seeing what we can uh, think of the first impressions here. But before we get too far into that, I want to say, go ahead and say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also head over to Instagram and likes at Work Knife Balance 939. That's a great way to connect with us. Now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive in. We've got two Vostid. Huh, nope, we've got two Kaiser, a Vostid, and a Tuya over here. Um, I have opened the Tuya and messed with it. I haven't touched these three yet. So let's go ahead and start from this side and go over. And we'll just do some first impressions on this mail call. This one right here is the Sub 3. Go ahead and get in here. Kaiser's done some really good stuff in the last year, so I am pretty excited about, oh wow, we even got some packing peanuts going on over here in the sub three. Oh, these are sick. Kaiser always has really cool stickers. The Kaiser Cares sticker and then the Action for Dream sticker. So those are pretty cool. This is the Kaiser Sub 3 ODK. And it comes with some extra hardware, it looks like right there. Some little screws and all that good stuff right there. Go ahead and let's put all these packing peanuts back in there. Get that all closed up and set aside. Ah! Just so much stuff. Okay, I'm just going to set it over there. I'll deal with that later. All right. Ooh, smooth. Very smooth. It's a bar lock. Okay, I did not realize this was a bar lock. That's on me. But, um, it is pretty smooth. I do like the blade shape on this as well. It's a uh, pretty kind of generic drop point coming through, but it, it looks nice. It feels nice. It's a really good in hand, I would say. I think these are aluminum 14C28 on it. So it's aluminum scales, 14C28, sub 3 OBK, bar lock. Looks pretty slicey. Has some good feels, good looks to it as of now. Don't really want to choke up over the edge because you're right on that. But yeah, feels good, looks good. Um, go ahead and mess around with this one. This one's come through the pass around group. And uh, yeah, I like that so far. I uh, don't know if there's any other colors. And I don't know if there's any other kind of like variations to this. But as of right now, this kind of like blacked out. Looks like a PVD blade. And then like a black aluminum on the scales. I don't think it's titanium, but, and I don't know price point on this either. So you do have a, looks like pocket clips only on one side, uh, but it is a deep carry pocket clip, deep carry clip with a little bit sticking out the top there. Yeah. This is uh, definitely a contender for EDC. Uh, I definitely like it. Really nice, easy use of it. Yeah. I like the edges too, the chamfered edges that they put on that, that feels really nice in hand and you can get behind really easy here but then come up and yeah. That's a, a nice one for sure. So go ahead and set that one to the side real quick. That was the Sub 3 OBK. Diving into the Tuya here. This one I already had a chance uh, to take a look at and um, this one is definitely One of my favorites, this is the Tuya Voodoo, I believe, uh, from Warren Blade Co. So you can see the, the Warren Blades right here, home of the Tuya US Sales and Service. Uh, go ahead and put all this back together. When I saw this, I thought it might have been another, because of the case, I thought it might have been another um, Cavill Knife or, oh, why am I blanking on that right now? I don't know, but I really like that some of these manufacturers are doing, ooh, so nice, uh, harder shell cases like that. Although I don't keep the knives in them all the time, when you have a couple hard shell cases like that, especially when they're just blank hard shell cases and they have just the, the flat um, foam in here, it's not like a cutout for a specific nice. knife, it's nice because then you can use it for multiple knives if you're shipping something to a friend or something like that. So I like that. But yeah, this is the Tuya Voodoo and this thing is sharp. I really like that belt satin that they did there. Uh, looks like it's got a little bit of a hollow grind through that belt satin coming down there as well. This is definitely slicey. This has some really sweet action. Really like that choke up choil on it right there. 
Nice flat Warncliffe, modified Warncliffe sheep's foot blade there. Um, more warny, and it's definitely, ah, oh, man, this is sweet. Tuya has done some really nice things in the last two years as well. A lot of companies have. It's been it's been hard to kind of kind of stick with one because there are so many good things going on out there. Um, titanium scales, S90V on the blade. This is this is pretty wicked for sure. I definitely enjoy this, and I like that it has just kind of a bare bones scale to it as well, because we've talked about this on a couple other ones. After you get into the collection and after you get into the hobby, a lot of people start moving towards customization, and anything like this just gives you a canvas to customize, and I think that is. Uh, a really cool thing, especially when you can get an option. Now, there's going to be knives out there that are already set and ready to go, and you don't need to customize anything about them. But this is really nice when you have a skill or have the desire to create a knife and make it your own. Um, you can do something like that. Start with a really nice blank canvas knife with something like this. So, yeah, this is the Tuya Voodoo. I absolutely love this. We will get a video on all of these one by one um, as we go through them. We're going to move on to the Kaiser Gavel. Oh, this is Lute's knife. Okay, so um, if you're in the community, Lute 10 Techs, this is his design with Kaiser as well. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this one for sure. This is a really nice one. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull this over here. So this is a community design knife. Um, you have a just really, really nice micarta here. You've got the brass bolster on it. It's just got a little bit of a weight to it. It's got a liner lock on it, and then you've got this little flipper tab on the back. That is dialed. Wow. That is really well done. That is a really small tab, and it it works. Miracles. That is a loot. Boy, this is a really nice knife. New Breed EDC has it right there. Look, we can see that right there. Designed by New Breed EDC. New Breed EDC, the gavel. This thing is sweet. I I really like my Clydesdale, but this is this is much more my style and design. It's a good size. Only thing I would say is if they redo this, do an inset liner lock. Cut down on some of that thickness by getting that liner lock inset in there, and then you don't have to worry about it being so chunky, but that's that's nothing bad that's nothing bad at all this is this is really well done wow it's it's and it's also cool because it's a community knife so this is designed by someone in the community um so loot 10 techs if y'all haven't followed him definitely give him a follow and then you'll be able to see some of the new read edc stuff that he's got going on as well so this thing is wicked it's a little bit smaller but it's a really it's it's not like a small knife it's a it's a good compact size and that Man, that little tab is so dialed. You can just little push, hardly moving the finger at all. And then if you want to do the light switch, it just kind of whips out there. This is, yeah, that is a really, really nice knife. Well done, Lute. Well done, Kaiser on the execution. Lute for the design and Kaiser on the execution there. This thing is pretty awesome. I like this a lot. So, yeah. Cool. We're going to move on to the last one now, and the final one here. This is going to be a Vastid. This is the Griffin, I believe, the Vastid Griffin. Hold on for a second, too. Vastid, what's up with all these cases? When you first started, you had all the little cool metal cases, and now we're getting all these cases. I like the cool metal cases. Bring back the cool metal cases. I know they're more expensive, but... They're awesome. I really liked them. All right, back to the knife. We didn't even really stop. We just kept going. All right, so this is the Griffin, the Vostied Griffin. All right, I'm going to start with the back flip. Ooh. Right off the bat, not my style. But uh, it's pretty wicked, that's for sure. Um, you got a nice little hawksbill coming out there over the top. This is This is something else. You almost have, I think they've got a compound. You got two different angles right here. You can kind of see where it's set. You've got two different angles right there as they're coming through. That is uh, kind of interesting for sure. And then you've got this nice wedge coming over the top. 
This is definitely a Hawks bill for sure. I can see why they called it the Griffin, and you can open it with pretty much any opening mechanism, which knives are moving away from that Deployosaurus uh, era, I would say. You've got your back flip, you've got a uh, reverse flick in there, and then if you wanted to, you could go ahead, get up, and do a front flip off that top tab right there. So you've got three to four different opening mechanisms if you want to throw the thumb in there as well on that lip. Um, for a knife like this, I don't think you need four deployment methods. Uh, one is probably good, but this is a pretty wicked knife, especially if you like hawks bills. Uh, comment below, what do you think? This has got, it's, it's got a really narrow, narrow handle. Feels good in hand. It has a really nice spot to kind of anchor in here as well. And yeah, it's got some pretty good action. This is a G10 or FRN, I'm not sure. It's probably G10 on the scales right here. I'm gonna say it's probably 14C28 or 154, 14C28N right there. So you got in that um, really kind of mid-range budget area right there, really good value steel, really good price. I'm gonna say this is probably coming in under 100 bucks. Don't know, but we will post the links down below. Oh, I like the two-tone. So they went from the kind of like bright yellowish orange to the gray right there. I really like that two-tone. Although with it being called the Griffin, I would expect a little more like oranges and reds as like, well, I guess that's a Phoenix. Never mind. I was thinking, yep. Yep. Never mind. Ignore me. I was thinking of Phoenix and, and not a Griffin, but all the Phoenix is a fantastic knife as well too. So yeah, that's what we got today on the mail call. We've got the Vastid Griffin. We've got the Kaiser Gavel. The Kaiser OBK Sub 3, and we've got the Tuya Voodoo. We will have a video on all these knives separately here, so we can kind of do some side-by-side -side comparisons and some measurements and all that good stuff. But that's the mail call for today. I will say right off the bat, these two are probably my top contenders. That gavel is really wicked, and that Tuya knife is just so, so nice. So, yeah. Until next time, TTFN.